as recruiting the way it's going now, sometimes kids will get offers earlier and earlier, but you know, to have a, a freshman kid going, kid going into a sophomore year that holds offers from Alabama and just numerous other major, major power five programs is, is, is still pretty rare and awfully impressive. This level of football, it's rare that we have freshmen start. We have had freshmen start before, uh, and usually they end up being really, really good players. You know, a Chauncey Magwood, a Baron Hobson, who are now playing in college. Uh, go back to an Aubrey Solomon, who was a state defensive player of the year, started for his freshman. Otis Reese started as a freshman. So it's rare, but the ones that we have that do it are usually end up really, really good. I like to attack people's weaknesses. I like to make sure I know the linebackers have it or safeties have it. Going into the game, my gameplay is going to be based off of what I've seen off of him. I wouldn't say I play wild, but like, it looks like I'm dancing out there, like when I run the ball. And I like it like that, I guess. You know, the thing about Ismani is he still hasn't filled out. He's a lean kid. You know, he's, uh, I think we weighed him today. He's 210 pounds, probably 6'2", but you could just see he's got so much more room to grow. Um, so I, I, I see him continuing to get better and, uh, you know, and, and he's still young, just being a sophomore. So. Um, and, and the thing about him is as good a football player on the field he is, he's an even better person and more humble off the field. I didn't even think I was going to play in the beginning, but it was like, it was like a wake up call, like, oh, I can be as good as the best five star, or I can be the best player in the nation. You know, Osmani's a very humble kid. That's the first thing you notice about him. You know, uh, he doesn't want to be treated any different than anybody else, doesn't expect it. And, uh, and that, that's, uh, it's really a blessing to get to coach a kid like that. When I'm out there in the hot summer heat, I'm not worried about air conditioning, anything like that. I'm worried about how I'm gonna get my mom a mansion and a big house. I tell her all the time, I'm gonna get her a big house. What does she say? She'd be like, okay, whatever you say. And she just start laughing. What do you think your mom really wants? I think she wants her son to be somebody that everybody can respect as a person and as a football player. Uh, whenever I'm in a situation like opening the door for a female or something, there's always my mom in the back of my head telling me, you gotta do this, you gotta do that to be what you wanna be and be a good gentleman. If football don't work out, I would probably wanna have a robotics engineering company by the time I get out of college or by the time I hit my 30s around there. And I, if that don't work out, probably get my bachelor's in biology. You know, Ismani's older brother, Mustafa, played for us on the 17 and 18 state champion teams. So I've known Usmani since he was a little kid. And, and uh, we always knew he was a good athlete. We knew he was a good kid. We saw him growing up. He was uh, a dominant player in middle school. Uh, and kind of coming up, you know, into his freshman year, we knew he was going to be really good, but we didn't realize how good and how quickly he would adapt to this, this level of play. And, uh, um, you know, to have a year like he did last year with uh, rushing for over 1,700 yards as a freshman versus schedule we, we play is pretty amazing. Are you being recruited by uh, Yes, sir. How about that? What is that like? It's just fun. I don't really worry about that right now because I got a couple more years, but it's good to know that people are watching me and people have interest in me. But no matter how many offers I get, anything like that, my goal is just to be the best player that I could be.